Hey, welcome back to this one. Now, in the previous two, uh, you know, videos, we were essentially looking at the different clauses and what they are used for. So in this one, we will essentially be looking at select in particular, right? So we're taking it one from the beginning, uh, one step at a time, right? So first we have our select and remember that we have sort of deactivated this part of the query. So essentially we wouldn't have anything running from it. And one other thing I would like you to do and, you know, to sort of check on your sheet before going forward is try to observe if you have already selected a warehouse. Uh, if you have no warehouse selected, this might be a very good time for you to select the compute warehouse. And essentially then, um, then you can come to select. So maybe you could type select. So at first we would be selecting one. So remember, we said that select is essentially a print. So it's essentially saying print or it's telling SQL, show me one. So when you run this, so whenever you write a query, you can run it essentially with the play button. And so when you tell SQL that show me one, then it essentially brings back one, right? So it brings back one because you said show me one. Okay. Now another very, um, you know, another thing to note is that you can also do multiple selects and that would mean if you want to do a multiple select, so that means if you want to print one and print two at the same time, what you just need to do is essentially put a comma. So at this point, you're selecting one and then you're selecting two. And then also you can maybe even select a string. So a string could be apple. Right? Note that you cannot select, you cannot write your apple like this. It's going to give you an error. So I'm just going to run this. So the reason why you cannot select your apple like this is because um, this is meant for a different use case, which we will visit very um, soon. So first, so let's just remove this and then we can run. So here, what we're telling SQL to say is select print one, print two, and print the string apple, right? And so this is, um, I mean, this is already some really, really good progress. And so another thing we could do, if you look at the table, what we have formed, the new table we have formed, they're essentially having a header, which is one for the code, for the part where we print one, two for the part where we print two and Apple for the part where we printed Apple. Now, another thing we could do is essentially say, oh, we don't want to name the column, the names of what we are printing. So essentially maybe we'll have a different name that we would like to name printout. So essentially we could say one as A and then say two as B. And then we say apple as, let's even call this fruit. You know, we could even maybe call this number two. This is number one. So then here we could run. So one thing you might notice here is we said print one as number one. So it essentially names this column number one, but it prints one. And then prints two as number two. So it essentially names this as number two, but it prints two. And then prints up, prints apple as food. So it essentially named apple, but then um, it prints apple, but it names it as fruit. So this is, this is the essential part where you essentially name your um, columns by the names that you want. Now, another thing you can notice or another thing you should notice is that when I was creating this name, I was essentially putting underscores in between places that I would have otherwise put a space. And this is uh, by convention, actually. Uh, because then SQL would not be able to identify the space. This is going to lead to some error. We cannot name a column and have it spaced. This is the case in most, in, in, 
um, I mean, there are some exceptions, of course. Um, a good way to have space in between the names would be to put it into double quotes. So we put the name into a double quote. So we essentially say select one as number one, but it's in a double quote. And so when we run it now, we should see that number one is coming out as number one, right? With space. However, this is not this is not the best convention. The best convention is to have an underscore instead of having a space because normally this is only selectable when you put it into double quotes. So this is the very first part of select. Um, and so now we're just doing calculations with select. So we could essentially say, oh, would you please select two plus two? Two plus two. And then we name it as addition. Right? And then we could also then say, select three times three as multiplication. And then select 10 divided by two as deviation. Right? And so when you run this code, the moment what you get is four for addition, nine for multiplication, and five for division. So this is a very good use case to select. So we can use select to do some basic calculation. We can use it to print strings. We can also use it to print numbers. And we can now use it to print columns, right? We you can use it to show columns from certain tables. Now, in the next video, we will go into that part. So let's just go into the next video. Uh, thanks. And see you at the next one.